What's good everybody, it's your boy Hunts from Arthur Gaming, and today guys are coming through with a brand new deck profile, but before we get into that guys, I'd like to give a huge shout out to our brand new sponsors, Card Advantage. Make sure you guys check them out in the description down below if you guys want to support us even more than ever before. Make sure you guys check out some of their products. Guys, make sure you use the code LAUNCH for 10% off your latest purchase. As well as check out all the links in the, the description, the Discord, the Patreon, the Facebook, the Twitter. Yes, I'm out of breath talking. Anyways, let's get straight into this deck profile. Alright guys, so starting off with the deck profile, of course, we play the Triple Dark Magician. Um, the Ultimate Wizard in terms of attack and defense, in case you didn't know. Heart and Soul of the deck, if you play less than three, you're actually psycho crazy guy in um, the entire world. Just three Dark Magicians, um, you need them all, so yep, yeah, that's it for that. Play the double Apprentice Illusion, just to fetch uh, Dark Magician. Three is super duper bricky. Um, I know what you guys are thinking that, oh, he's only playing uh, two Dark, uh, he will never see Dark Magician, but you, you'll be surprised how often this card will trigger. Discard any card special on herself. When she specials, she searches Dark Magician. So it's really, really good in what she actually does. Um, and yeah, she triggers off like Magician's Navigation, so she's really good. If she countered as Dark Magician, it would be really, really good, but of course, Konami hates Dark Magicians. Then on to the sort of engine of the deck, we play triple Magician's Rod. A Magician's Rod, when he's normal summoned, you can add one uh, spell trap card that lists Dark Magician in its text, I believe. Um, can't search, I have to minus for whatever reason, but whatever. And then it's secondary effect, and the main reason why you can kind of grind out with this game is during your opponent's turn, when you activate a spell or trap card or effect, you can tribute one spellcaster monster and add this card back to your hand. So for example, when you go Eternal Soul, Reborn Dark Magician, um, Trigger Dark Magic Circle, to banish a card, you can chain this to tribute your Dark Magician to add this card to your hand. So now for your follow-up turn, you just go Normal Summon, Magician's Rod, grab your Soul Servant, and then combo off from there. And yeah, Magician's Rod is, is really, really good. I don't play Magician's Robe just because it's like very niche and you don't really need to fit it in this deck. Then of course, um, I mean, what more do you want me to say about this card, right, Magician's Soul? This card is literally insane in this deck. Like. When you play with this card, you understand why Konami printed such a card. Um, just because it lets you, it propels Dark Magician so far, just because it's a free special summon with Dark Magician. You can draw cards, you can dump Dead Circles, you can dump Navigation, you can dump Soul Servants, you can draw multiple cards. It's really, really good in what it does. Um, being a level one, um, it's whatever. Being a Dark Spellcaster is kind of the main point, as well as being able to summon Dark Magician and trigger your circle on turn one. Really good, and the main reason why Magician Soul is played in this deck, I mean, if you don't have it, you can still play it, but it just the upside is just so crazy. That's it for the uh, engine monsters, guys. Now moving on to the hand traps. We play triple Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. Yeah, so we play uh, the three Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring just because it's overall the most um, versatile hand trap in the current metagame. It can hit all sorts of cards. It can hit everything. Um, it can hit personal spoofings. It can hit helixes. It can hit circles. It can hit... Uh, Sign at Mining, it can Shadal Fusion, and that's the main reason why I play this card. And this card deck actually has a really strong matchup against the Shadal deck. Um, and yeah, Ash is the most versatile. You can cut this for cards like Droll if you want, but as of right now, I don't think there's a need to main deck Droll in um, Dark Magicians. Then moving on to some more hand traps, we play the Triple Phantasmi. Um, Phantasmi is really good, and the main reason why I play him is he's a dragon, okay? He's a dark dragon, so keep that in mind. Um, then, as well as we play, he's a level 7. And he's a dark. So there's a lot of synergy in this deck already, just being a level 7. Then he gives you targeting protection. And he just gives you a free monster on board. So actually, if you open Phantasmi um, plus Magician Soul, you're guaranteed to rank 7, right? Um, going second if your opponent Link Summons, which every deck does. And this card outs window. So when you go second, they go Amirage, do some window uh, nonsense. You go special Phantasmi, draw a card, enter Balfi, just swing out the window, beat the Alistair, beat a lot. And yeah, you just propel from there. So Phantasmi, very, very crucial card. If you guys can't afford it, just wait a month. Um, the card's coming out dual overload, so yeah, it's not so bad. Then, the final hand trap we play is the triple Nibiru the Primal Being. Nibiru is literally Nibiru, right? It turns off every uh, combo turn. Paired with Phantasmi, it's insane. Like, you can go uh, chain link 1 Phantasmi, chain link 2 Nibiru. And now, basically, what happens is um, Phantasmi, Nibiru will summon itself, wipe the whole board, and then Phantasmi will summon, and you'll draw one card, and you don't need to shuffle anything back. Because uh, Phantasmi says, draw up to the number. Of Link Monster opponent controls plus one and then shuffle back the same on Link Monster they control. Since you control no Link Monsters, you only draw one. That's it. It's a free upstart goblin. Why do you not play it? Plus Nibiru is a big boy. Free Link Fodder. Then moving on to the spells, we play, of course, the triple Dark Magic Circle. 
Um, when this card is activated, excavate the top three cards of your deck. Add one Dark Magician or Spell Track card that lists Dark Magician and stacks. Other than I have Tamias, which for whatever reason, but we don't play that card just because we think it's a, a brick personally. Um, and then when a Dark Magician is special summoned to the, your side of the field, you can target one card in your opponent controls and banish it. Really good for spot removal. Gets over cards like uh, Window, where with their protection actually matters. Gets over cards like... Um, yep, exactly. That's what I meant. Gets over cards like IP, Appalooza. Um, helps you play under cards like Mystic Mine, under Skill Drain. Dark Magic Circle is a really, really good card. And if you see two of them, you just send the other one with Souls to draw. So that's why I play Dark Magic Circle. Then... Three of the newest guy, three Soul Servant. Um, Soul Servant is really, really good because it provides so, ma so much utility. One, um, you can activate this card quick play as well, so keep that in mind. You can activate this card, um, take one Dark Magician or a card that lists Dark Magician from your graveyard deck and add it to your uh, to the top of the deck, right? Then you can banish this card and you can draw equal to number of Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girls, or Palladium cards that you control or are in your graveyard. But basically, you don't really play Dark Magician, so it's always just like an upstart. But the main interaction with this deck is you can go these two, right? So you can literally go activate Dark Magic Circle, and then you can chain Soul Servant to guarantee you a card. Like, say you're missing an Eternal Soul, it'll grab Eternal Soul. Say you're missing a Navigation, Secret Dark Magic, it'll add this card. Now Dark Magic Circle will add it, right? But see, it's not done there, because now basically, you can re uh, Dark Magic Circle says you can replace the cards in any order. So you, then you replace the cards in any order, and you use its secondary effect to draw a card. So now you just drew the other card. So really, really good. Then we play the one Secrets of Dark Magic. Quick play uh, fusion spell for the fusion monsters. Really, really good, helps you push for game. Um, Rod can search this. Rod plus soul is a really neat combo, which I'll show you guys near the end if we have time. And yeah, it's just solid one of you don't even need to play it. Soul Servant can keep recurring this card as well, so yeah. Then um, some more spells you play. Triple Allure of Darkness. Um, I mean, it's a draw card, right? Uh, Dark Magician want to draw, you need consistency cards in this deck. And we play the Triple Allure Darkness. All your monsters are dark for the most part. And literally, your hand will always be able to banish some sort of card. And this card just helps you dig for your cards. Because Dark Magician really struggles to get their engine going. Like, get the circle with the IP play going. But Allure Darkness just helps you do all that. And I would definitely recommend it to every single Dark Magician deck. Then, to finish the spell, guys, you can call me Scummy if you want. But we play the Double Mystic Mind. And yes, guys, we do play the Mystic Mind. Just for the main purpose of being able to play... Yeah, there are all are there are all sorts of decks that you know play this whole build a board, break a board type of strategy. We can just go f f uh, second confidently with all our hand traps. We break their board. We know uh, Phantasm, Nibiru, whatever, whatever. Then we go activate Mystic Mind, pass. Now we just wait and wait and wait until a your opponent either outs it, b they deck out, or c we just full control and kill them. So that's why play the two Mystic Mind in the main deck. Then we play. Um, for the trap cards, we play two Eternal Soul. Two is good. You don't want to brick on it. And we play the one Magician's Navigation. So the main reason I play uh, the one Magician Navigation is I feel like the criteria is just very, very strict in um, what it provides. Like you need the Dark Magician in hand. Then you can summon one from deck. But the main purpose of this card literally is just to send it with the Souls to negate a card. Um, you don't really need the second one or the third one and neither with the second one or third one. Once you guys will test with it, you'll understand why. Um, two soul, two eternal soul, really good in the recursion that it provides. And then uh, the one magician navigation helps you uh, not brick. And this card is also searchable, right? So you can just search this card. So why do you need to play three? Yes, I get it that you want to open it, but like you only want one dark magician in hand. You don't want multiple because then you're kind of in an awkward situation. Then um, for the last couple traps of the deck, we play triple solemn strike. Um, strike is strike. It does what it wants when it wants. Stops almost anything in the game, to be honest. Um, it's just, just a really, really good card. I think that strike is very versatile. Then we partner it with the one Judgment. I know Judgment is at three, guys. You can comment all you want, but I know it's at three. Um, judgment is just a really, really good card just to have, sort of like the trump card. And then we can, um, you know, flex other cards as well. And that's why I think Judgment is very crucial. Then to round it off, we play the one Skill Drain. Um, skill Drain says no to your opponent, but it says yes to us. Because we have Dark Magicians, we have uh, Dark Magic Circle, we have Big Beat Sticks. So, yeah, I mean, right? Um, that's it for the deck, guys. I think it's 41 in the main, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can cut something if you want. But, yeah. On to the extra deck. We play the one Link Spider. Um, Link Spider is really good because if you just open a Dark Magician, you can go, like, Special Dark Magician, um, Banish Card, Attack, Make a Link Spider. I believe so. Yeah, Make a Link Spider. And then, um, during your opponent's turn, you go Eternal Soul, Reborn, Dark Magic Circle, Banish Card. 
and then uh, you link these two away again, right? So, oops. So yeah, you just link those two away, and yeah. So the one link spider, uh, link rebo for the magician soul when you draw it, and you have no other way to get rid of it. I mean, that's it, right? Link rebo is link rebo. Uh, link to you play the IP. IP is the main um, win con of the deck. Um, if IP is the main monster you really want to go into, like you really need to go to it. And then because IP facilitates so much, right? You go like IP, Dark Master, Banish, Link into like Unicorn, Shuffle Back. And yeah, uh, that's IP for you. Nightmare Phoenix, just for utility, um, helps you push through annoying cards, helps you deal with like back row, pesky back row, and then you can just bait out and then OTK them. Uh, the one we Witch, we just decided to play this card just off of pure utility. 1900, this card makes Dark Magician go to 3k, and this card drops Conductor to 3k as well. So you can actually crash in the Dark Magic Circle. Also, when Weaver dies, I think she can add back, like, uh, any Dark Monsters. So she can add back, like, a Magician Soul, um, Apprentice Illusion, Magician Rod, so she's really good. And she has a Dark Spellcaster, so there is synergy in there, right? So, yeah. Link 3, Nightmare Unicorn for the IP play, as well as Link Climbing in general. Unicorn's really good spot removal. Gets over cards like Winda, non-destruction cards, really annoying. Then you play the Draco Masters of the Tenny. Um, Draco Masters of the Tenny is really, really good and super duper unique. So basically what he says is you can destroy cards on the field equal to the number of non-effect uh, monsters you control or in your graver. So you can, call, you can uh, pop up to three cards, right? But the main reason why I play this card is, say for example, you, you like for whatever reason you didn't unicorn them, right? You can use IP to go into uh, Draco Masters of the Tenny. And now basically, Draco Master of the Tenny is undestructible by card effects, also can't be destroyed by effect monsters. So you can keep popping monsters that they like keep trying to uh, poke your damage, and his pointers are insane too, right? So he's really, really good. Then um, for the Link 4, we play the one Unchained Abomination. So it's very similar uh, methodology as to why I play Draco Masters and IP. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to IP, uh, Link IP away into your Unicorn, right? Or Draco Masters, doesn't matter. Shuffle them back. Then during your turn, you're gonna Reborn a uh, Dark Magician, banish a card, and then attack, attack, and then link again into Unchained Abomination. Now during your opponent's turn, you summon again, you banish. During the end phase, Unchained Abomination, pop another card. So it's just more forms of disruption that I think are really important in this deck. And yeah, he's really good. 3K beater as well. So under skill drain, he's a monster. Or sorry, not 3K, yeah, 3K, I lied. I'm a liar. Moving on to more of the extra deck, we play the one Ebon Illusion Magician. Don't play Ebon High, the card's doo doo, the card's poo poo, the card's yucky yuck. Um, Ebon Illusion helps you push, detach one, special summon, uh, basically a Dark Magician, and then once you declare an attack, banish card. So, like, technically speaking, you can banish two cards um, Hits Effect and Dark Magic Circle. Right? What more do you want? Slur Metal. This card has won me so many games when I play this card. Can't be destroyed by card effects while it has material. Every time your opponent activates a card or effect, take 500. So most of the times, you can actually just make Flare Metal and stun them. Force your opponent to try out this card as they burn for like 3k, 4k. And then uh, on the swing back, you just OTK them. Um, and then the new addition to the deck. And the reason why I'm telling you Phantasm is broken. Is we play the Dark Armed, uh, the Dragon of Autonomation. Sorry, I can't read it. Basically, what he says is if you control exactly 5... Um, dark monsters in your graveyard, you can use one dragon monster to overlay him for free, right? And there are actually a lot of dragon monsters, right, that we play. So we have cards like um, Flare Metal, we have cards like, um, yeah, Flare Metal, and also we have the um, new and improved guys. And this is the reason why I'm telling you why this card fits so well in the deck is Phantasmi, because you can just say you have uh, two exactly five dark monsters, right? You summon Phantasmi and you just do this. Detach a card, pop a card. And if you have Unchained Abomination, you pop another card. He can't attack for the rest of this turn, but it's a good follow-up play, like when you bait negates and stuff. And I think he's really important to the deck, and you should definitely be playing if you if you don't have him already. He has a jump card. If you guys didn't have him, make sure you keep on looking. I think he's pretty cheap as well, so yeah. That's it for the XYZs. Now onto the fusions. Of course, you play the one, um, the Dark Magicians. What more do you want? Um, draw a card, set a card. If it's skill drain, win the game. Dies, floats. We don't play the cards that float, but it's more like the pressure how Beatrice applied with um, Pimp Dante, where Beatrice would die, they'd be afraid that they're gonna summon Dante, but they don't. Then we play uh, Earth Golem Adding Nister, Supply Target for Salaman Great, Supply Target for the Extra Link board. When they Extra Link you, you go Super Poly and you fuse away uh, their Trigate and their Appalooza, summon him, he attacks another monster, summon from the Extra Deck. Now all you have to do is deal with Sleeper, and that's Cakewalk. Elysium, um, if you guys know me, I love playing this card in my Supply Target decks. 
fuse away their window, fuse away their Kaliga, fuse away their Makaba, fuse away any monster from the extra deck, fuse away Amraj, Makaba. Now just have Elysium control while you're just banishing all their cards with Dark Magic Circle. Anyone on Starving Venom. And again, guys, um, Starving Venom is really, really good because you can fuse away all the dark monsters. When he's destroyed, you can nuke all the boards. But the best thing is, you can actually summon Venom with this. So, some more utility, guys. But yeah, that's it for the extra, guys. 15. Moving on to the side deck. Something we usually don't do, but I'll show it now. Um, triple, Droll, and Lockbird. For the Spiral matchup, for the True King Dino matchup, for the Invoke matchups, Droll just does it all. Um, not good enough to main deck right now, but side deck for sure because you don't want to be caught lacking by Spirals. If you want Dino Rest or Pankratops, um, just the row killer, back row killer, whatever you want to say it does. It's Pankratops. Triple Super Poly. You guys saw the Super Poly targets. We side this. If you guys uh, don't have Phantasmas or Nibiru's, you can just main Super Poly instead. Does the exact same thing, so that's it for the Super Poly. Double Lightning Storm. If you guys don't have Lightning Storm, you guys can play cards like um, Kaijus, you guys can play cards like Twin Twisters, Heavy Storm Duster, another Mystic Mind, Metaverse. Lightning Storm is really good just because it can help you deal with a lot of problematic monsters and back row that Eric Magician struggle with, so it helps you slow down the game. Triple evenly matched because I mean it's evenly, right? This card's a blowout in every situation. Dark Magician does a good uh, does a good thing in baiting the gates, so you just evenly them afterwards and you win the game. Then triple D barrier. Um, I think D barrier is insane right now. I think it's gonna be even better in MR5. Yes, it doesn't stop links, but it stops a lot of other decks. So you're doing against the Shadalic, you wait for them to commit, they go Shadal Fusion, go D barrier fusion, and you say LOL pass your turn. They go set squad to pass, you go summon dark magic circle, banish. Unicorn Shuffle, so it works in your favor because you stun them for a turn and then you just blow them up. So yeah guys, that was the deck. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like the video and I'm out. Alright guys, that was the deck for all. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like the video. If you guys didn't like the video, still like the video. Comment what type of videos you guys want to see next. Make sure to check out Card Advantage and use the code LAUNCH for 10% off. This is your boy Hamza from Off The Gaming, signing out. Peace.